you born, you cut down. You pay the bomber for your chairs. But you know, to me, in the party, you boy, you can have like in a messy or not on a jukana. Rafi managed to say the art. Imagine I'm twisting on Yango, na Ishmaringo. I was in the school for 17 years and I was in Form 3. I was a central midfielder. I was in the position of my dad. I was able to play with my dad and I was able to play with my dad. I was able to play with Jerry Costa. I was able to play with my dad and Jerry. I was able to play with 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 Jerry on Saturday. I was able to train. Nisa kaniona kwa na mimi pia mzuri. Kwa na sande, haka nilia boots. My name is Musa Tieno, former Arambe Stars captain, former Arambe Stars uh, assistant coach. So when I look back, I was like, wow, I've done whatever I need to do in football, you know, representing my country, playing for the national team, playing 105 games for the national team, again, playing South Africa for 15 good years, but winning trophy, but for me, the pentagon of my life was just to know that whatever I'm doing, I'm doing to the Almighty. And since then, it was just a matter of whatever I do. You know, I just wanted to come back to Kenya and knew that, you know, I just want to be part of somebody's life. And that's now when I started the Musa Otieno Foundation, which when I look at this time, I say thank God because Musa Otieno Foundation produced good players. Eno Swendo, who came from Musa Otieno Foundation. Charles Odette who came from Musa Otieno Foundation. You know, so many players came from there, you know. When you look at it and say that, you know, wow, I was part of their journey. And then things didn't go well. I changed to, from Musa Otieno to kick off to Pop Kenya. And kick off Pop Kenya is an international organization, it's a not profit organization. Just for us to come and give hope. And I said, wow, where can I give hope? Let me just go where I started, because I knew that that is where people know my story. We were based in Dr. Craft in Maringo. This is the area which I was born, I grew up, I went to school here. If you look at our community, Maringo, majority of the guys, when you look at the age of 25 to 20, they are no more there. You know, I just survey and say that, you know, there is something which is going on. What can we do? The team which I was playing for, it is not there anymore. But kids are just there. They don't have somebody, a role model, just to give them hope. Maringo, more or less, you know, it reached a time where it was known in so many things, you know. It is a time where there's a time at night there is no way you could have even picked your phone, you know, because uh, it was like so vivo. But again, those are the things which when I look back and I say that, you know what, there is a talent which is lucky. You know, to affect my youth in drugs, learning up a crime, being left a kitu. Ya watu, kwa nuwa viva hivi, pina tama nikuwa kae. Suna juhuta vidu yu mingi ya kuhiba, pile pia presa. Unambu watumia hii, ukikata, wanaza kuambia vitu mbambasa. Una juhuta tuta ingia tuju ya pia presa, kuambia utabitupi uwafuati. Sana kutu na nambasa, sana sana ni crime na drugs, kundi yu, sana sana. Na sita ituna mama angu, na nina sister watatu. Family, sita kwa bakro nizuri, watukua upua uu. Uu, sina baba. Ubangwa ni kufa 2010. Na nishituna mama angu. Na tuko... Miku wetu mito kijana peki yake. Mi jina angu ni Winnie Awur. Na ishi Maringo. Na nimeka hapa Maringo kwanzea 2017. Na encourage you watuto wengine wa ingi kwa team. Kuzu unajua mtoto akiwa uko ball. Hakuna vile hizi makeses huku inje itamshika, mara kitu ya, kitu ya mtu imepotea, mara nini imefanyika. Sasa na encourage watoto waendange ball na kina Austin washinde huko. Najua watoto wengi wamekosa kitu ya kukula sana. Wazazi wengine hawana hata fees, hata watoto wanaka kwa nyumba the whole year hawaendi shule. Musa pia huwa na ni support kwa hiyo school fees ya Austin. Na pia kuna mangu na nipeanga na fua za ball, fua na nilipanga every Monday. Ninety-nine percent of these kids are like coming from single parents. Sometimes you can see that I'm like a father. So when I come in with the voice of a dad, it really helps the mom because at least they know that there is a role model, there is a father in their houses. Maybe things are not good, but they are rushing to go to the school, which it is environment is peace, environment is good, development will come in. If they go to the field. 
it's not just about playing. Most of the times when I get money, we'll provide them with something to eat in the morning. Maybe there's porridge. You know, at least you feed the family when they come in. Some will just come because of the porridge. But for us, we feel like we have done well, fulfilled our job, you know, to help the community through providing them with something to eat, through providing them with, uh, with, with clothes. But when we talk about money, so that we talk to Kakwa, Jakula, Jakula Chai, Akonja, so we don't waste just a bowl of Jakula. So you can help, we need more help. You can help. We are just going to give you a chance. We are just going to lunch now. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to go to the fridge. Tell me, let me know what you can do. We normally train on Saturdays and Sunday. Saturdays will come in. The first thing, first of all, is just going to be devotion. And I miss for them because the purpose of which we are bringing soccer, the gospel, to the field. Because some of them, they don't want to go to the church. So you took church to them in the field. Whatever drills they are, they are doing, it will relate to the Bible. kwa mbia kuna watu natural mbola hapa na kuna watu waleza jimeo kwa hivyo usiti zarao uleza meki na uweva uko usiti ukafikiria ati sasa miti umizi kuhi na siwezi aha watu wawili kwa hivyo mbia wako ula na kwa hivyo ula na fikiria na weza na ula na fikiria na uwezi na watu wawili wako kwa hivyo ukifikiria hawezi hawe na kwa hivyo unafikiria unaweza hata saa zili unafikiria uwezi unawe siti kwa hivyo nipata mbia nasema it is all devotion, so for the world. It's the main alert to Obama. Some will take your opportunity. I'm going to do nothing to succeed. Some will cut your chin and kill you. I'm going to fight back with you. Keep your number for devotion. So it's not a matter of time. I'm going to have to do a double under 14. Yeah, you found that uh, for me as a head coach. I'll come up with a drill, a drill which will help each and every category. There is a purpose of the drill, and in each and every drill there is a coaching point. So you find that in a, under eight, under ten, that is a very young age. In a way, for them it's just a matter of, most, most of the things are like fun games, because the level is still down there. You know, under twelve are like, more or less you'll come in, the technical side a bit, but with the passing and the dribbling. So when you come to the under 14 going up, that is where now the tactical side of the team, how it's going to shape, you know, how you're going to support each other, you know. So, but in each and every stages, there is a, their training. So when I come in, maybe we'll meet an hour before, we'll set up the, the field, I'll give them the drills, what you're supposed to do, the coaching points, you know, for you to help the kids. After the training again, the kids, the kids need to be asked, what did you learn? Why were you doing that? So it's just a matter of a process. Kiangalia hapa tunafika, kuna devotion, unongeleshwa. Kompeni hizo tumzimina kuna kutuka hiyo. Ndiyo hiyo unapanga mwepangi wa cons, fatilisu hizo facilities za kutrain ziko. Hizi tumzimine, patizo vitu ni ngumu. One thing which we have done with our coaches is not a matter of the level which they have done. You know, most of them are coming from different, again, background. We you know we're having two coaches which is like their rehab. For them just to come in to be part of the coaching structure is a plus because most of the coaching are the one as a more qualified to come and give them the session. You know, there are some coaches who are still still they're still they're here as a rehab center for them because some of the coaches I went to them or I went to be with them at school at, in Dr. Craft. You can see their life went in a deep, but when I came back, you know, they have just said, it's a matter of time to change one or two. I was called Gina and I was called Karanja Mwilori. I was doing a job here with Musa, I was doing it for two years. I was doing it for two years, I was doing it for two years. I was doing it for two years, I was doing it for two years, I was doing it for two years. They are drinking too much. I was doing it for two years. I was doing it for two years, I was doing it for two years. Ata mimi nilikuwa natumia lakini ilibidi ni niwaache vile nilikuwa na Musa. Ni put them off. Sasa ndio na Musa. Mimi personally nimenisaidia sana. Imenichange life yangu. 
you the other time you go idle look. Say you go very busy. You go ever busy. Namusa, you may change personally. And I'm very happy. Look now, things is now work out. We're having one of our coaches who got a scholarship again in the US. I use doing a masters. You no, know, and uh, you know it, those are things. Whenever you see the kids are hearing through football, ah, we thank God and whoever has been coming in to support us, spiritual wise, praying wise. You know, we've been so thankful. You know. So for, for some, they may not be very good when it comes to classroom classwork stuff, but when they come to the field, they are good. They are good. Or maybe even better than others. So it's, it's, it's good to, to balance. I believe it's good to balance both, both ways of both sides of the coin. So I'm going to come and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to manage to say to change my share to be and keep the question. I'm going to see my slides and change my to happen. I'm going to be a shule and I'm going to start to come and I'm going to be a You know, when I look back and I say that, wow, at this time, like we're having 110 kids, it was not going to be easy. What good things did we do? We just welcome them the way they are, in a sense of to make them believe that first of all, what they say is about God, is about come here, you are being loved. There is love in this ecosystem, there is hope.